Hi, good morning to you all. I'm Chandrasekhar S. Manoru, physics scholar. Today, I'm presenting a seminar on the topic, magnetoelectric effect in a ferrite, ferroelectric composites, and the study of structural, electrical, and magnetical properties. I would like to thank uh, the coordinator, uh, Dr. B. N. Dole, sir, who are given the uh, opportunity to present uh, this topic. So I have some uh, problems on this uh, topic because most of the review paper do not provide any information regarding measurement techniques employed for magnetoelectric coupling. Hence, uh, this review uh, aims to bridge this gap so that reader can acquire both theory and the practical knowledge at the same time. And second one, new results on magnetic properties of pyrites. And similarly, another uh, challenge is what I have faced. That is the challenges on uh, how to show the proper conversation between uh, the two co co coefficients demands knowledge about the dielectric permittivity of this sample for a low um, barium titanate um, content, the dielectric uh, coefficient uh, of the composite yields a better correspondence, whereas uh, for high barium titanate content, the sample uh, samples average dielectric co coefficients yields a better much. The influence of mutual orientation of a polarization and the magnetization on the uh, magnetoelectric effect uh, is uh, addressed. To solve these uh, challenges, I have some um, I have written some ideas. Those are I mentioned here. One manipulating structure and the and the spin cyclode through strain doping external factors like electric field magnetic field have facilitated the enhancement of a magnetoelectric coupling that's a b4 we listed uh, the following ideas of the brief, uh, brief review many first principles studies have shown the strain might directly affect the magnetoelectric coupling but the strain caused by the substrate can affect the critical magnetic uh, field needed to destroy uh, spin uh, cyclone, thus confirming the, that strain does not have an uh, indirect influence over magnetoelectric coupling. And next one is the doping can affect both ferroelectric as well as a uh, ferromagnetic behavior, but it's important lies in the fact that it is uh, affect uh, that structure and the spin cyclone which can be utilized to enhance the magnetoelectric uh, effect. Critical fields like electric fields can influence the uh, anti-ferro desorption vector, which, is, uh, which ultimately manipulates the magnetization, but there uh, is an upper limit uh, that depends on a susceptibility, that is a magnetic susceptibility. And last one is the to overcome from these challenges. First, we need to uh, classify the fire rates, uh, which are exhibits the excellent electric and magnetic uh, properties. So in here, I have some uh, working principles, which is written in here. The working principle based on the collection of uh, data and the preparation of the sample means the collection of data means we have uh, gone through the um, literature review and uh, different kinds of the uh, sample, how we are going to be uh, prepared. Uh, out of which I have mentioned in here, four, those are the ceramic method, soil gel method, hydrothermal process, and co-precipitation methods. And similarly, after completion of this uh, preparation, uh, we needed to ca characterize uh, that sample. So in here, I have uh, mentioned that is the physical properties of uh, strontium um, uh, ferrite, synthesized by co-precipitation uh, method, magnetization measurement indicates a sub super magnetic behavior, the blocking temperature is about 300 Kelvin. We performed X-ray diffraction, infrared uh, spectroscopy, uh, transmission electron microscope, energy disp uh, dispersive uh, spectroscopy, that is EDS. The characterization of a ferrets include the investigation of crystallography, the structural morphology, and chemistry, that is the identification of chemical constituent, a chemical composition, their distribution, and the thermal properties and magnetic properties, electrical properties, physical properties, uh, like um, lots of things are in there. And uh, last one, uh, the outcome, that is a targeted outcome, uh, what I have got, is series of uh, samarium, 
or a strontium substituted cerium uh, ferrites, which is, I have taken that is a, a 0 0.05, 0 0.10, so on, where it's synthesized by uh, using Solzheim method, that is auto combustion. And thereafter, for the characterization, uh, XRD analysis confirmed the formation of a single phase as spinal structure without any secondary phase in all composites. The substitution of a samidium in cerium ferrites has resulted in an increase in a lattice parameter and crystal size. The decrease, uh, next one is uh, the decrease in a lattice uh, parameter for indicates a possible um, cationic uh, redistribution. The low values of the lattice strain induced due to samarium dropping indicator, uh, indicate improved uh, crystallinity of the sample. The next one is uh, the prepared nanoparticle have a, a spherical morphology and narrow size distribution uh, and are slightly agglomerated as evident uh, from the TEM analysis. And uh, last one, uh, that is uh, the expected uh, stoichiometric of the sample was confirmed by the EDS analysis. The absorption of the bands and uh, in FTR spectra of all samples are found in expected range. The band frequency decreases with increase in uh, samarium content and this suggests occupancy of uh, samarium, that is a uh, three plus ions on ectrohydral sites. So this much of the uh, targeted outcome I have got and uh, I have uh, solved all the uh, challenges what I have uh, faced in this uh, synthesis process. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you one and all uh, for uh, watching this.